YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, well, I gotta give you guys an interesting announcement. Uh, one of my really good friends on YouTube, Chris Tanner of Prepared by 101, has some pretty disturbing news that came out earlier today, and I really wanted to touch base on it. For those of you who follow Shrade, follow Chris Tanner's channel, you will know that he is the designer of the Shrade SCHF 43 or the Jessica X, which is this blade right here, which this particular one was actually person personally given to me by Chris Tanner. This was one that basically he, he handpicked from his house and sent it straight to me, which was freaking awesome. And uh, <clears throat> I've used it outdoors and I love it. The geometry is freaking sick. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I thought the handle was goofy as hell, to be totally honest, when I first got it. And I was like, yeah, yeah that's silly. But as soon as I started chopping with it, I was like, all right, I gotta shut up. This is actually pretty good. Well, I wanna give you guys something. Um, I can personally, on this design as it is with the saber grind, I can give my recommendation on it. It works really well. It's a nice big old blade. It works for his intended purpose. If you don't mind carrying a Baldrick carry and basically have it as a machete replacement and a big chopper, I would definitely say go for it. However, the announcement he gave is he is the designer of this knife and he has his stamped logo saying that he was the designer of this knife. You can see that right there very clearly that that is his logo from his YouTube channel, his company, his LLC. A little while ago, Smith & Wesson bought Shrade. And they kept it under the same umbrella so it visually didn't look any different to us. But they're starting to do some really, really crappy stuff. Uh, what they did is they decided to redo the entire Jess X line in a new batch they created and they actually put a hollow grind on a heavy duty chopper, which is completely asinine and retarded. I've never been a fan of hollow grinds. I know a lot of people don't like full flat grinds, but I would prefer a full flat grind if they're gonna do a design change on a blade than anything else. However, we know from the K-Bar Becker series and the Jess X that the Sabre grind does an extremely good job. It's an effective wedge splitter for batoning, chopping, anything like that. It'll just drive wood out of the way. But from the video that he showcased, I'm definitely going to put a link in the video description. They basically got these big, huge corporate balls and decided to just redesign the entire freaking knife without telling him, giving a heads up, not telling retailers, not doing anything, making no announcement. Because every single time they've redesigned a knife in the past, they've given a new model number, they changed names, and every single time you try to go buy this, every time it would be released, it was super hard to freaking find. Um, that is actually why I reached out to Chris and I was like, hey man, I've been trying to get a hold of this knife forever and I, I can't. He goes, don't worry man, I'll get you one, don't problem. You're, he goes, I appreciate you having an interest in it and he sent me one. So I was really excited about that. Um, I've been following his channel for years and I respect him as a designer because I also design blades, which is really cool. But it really pissed me off when I found out that, because if I design a blade and someone decides to make that many design changes, and completely revamp the functionality of my blade and still put my name on it, I would be calling them, cursing them, and I'd try to sue them as soon as, soon as I could. I'd be completely pissed off because that is a misappropriation of my design and you're basically creating a subpar crappy product and then trying to put my stamp on it that people can clearly see and whatnot. And they were basically, what is this? And th their response to him was basically, well, it wasn't really a good seller. Bullshit, that was a great seller. This, this knife is extremely hard to find. <clears throat> it's easier now because it's been a few years. But the guys on YouTube, there's been a bunch of channels, not including myself. I haven't actually made a video, but now I don't want to because of the fact that even though I have a bunch of test footage, it's not going to be the same knife that you guys will end up buying from Amazon or Schrader or wherever. It's false advertisement. And for me, that kind of coincides and to take further evidence that uh, Schrader has been up to some very shady practices under the Smith & Wesson umbrella. Back in the day, they came up with the new Sherlock design from Shrade. It was basically supposed to be their newer, stronger lock. I did a full review on this blade, right? And I was super happy with it. Um, it did really, really well. However, when I started doing some torture testing with it, um, I'll basically give you guys a heads up. So the Sherlock is kind of very similar to an Axis lock. However, check this out. The lock is engaged. No funny business. I'm going to put my hand over here. I can disengage the lock. I broke the lock. <clears throat> now, since then, they redesigned this and fixed it based off my video, yet they completely dropped my sponsorship on the channel, which is fine. But then they sent it to a bunch of other YouTube channels to say, hey, go check out my new design. 
uh, check out the fixed design that basically Chris from Drop Force Survival found the flaw. We fixed the flaw, but fuck him. All in all, not to make this about me, because it's definitely not. It is about my uh, brother from another mother, Chris Tanner from Prepare by 101. I am completely pissed off that they bought that. So if you guys currently own a straight SCHF 43 or a Jess X, hold on to it if it's the good one. But I would definitely, if you end up buying one from Amazon or Shred and you get the ones with a hollow grind, I would immediately demand a refund because that is a piece of crap. I would be flooding them with emails and flood Shred's Facebook page and tell them how annoyed and mad you are. I'm probably going to be making a Facebook post about this because I'm extremely annoyed and pissed off that a company actually has the cojones to change a designer's design, still put their logo on it, and then not tell them they did that, which is kind of BS. I don't... That's a major design change. Going from a saber grind to a hollow grind completely distorts the functionality and the capabilities of this blade and turns it from a very hard use blade that you could trust out in the field to a subpar piece of crap. However, I know that I said my piece, he said his piece, and I just want to make you guys aware of that. I hate tarnishing the day for 4th of July weekend because the 4th of July weekend is pretty awesome, but I wanted to stick up for my friend Chris Tanner and let him know that uh, here on YouTube in the outdoor community for fellow knife designers, that's some crap we're not going to tolerate. I am totally glad that I've never sent a design to Shrade to go have them try to design it for me, and I've worked with other companies in the past. But anyway, hope you guys have an awesome 4th of July weekend. And if you want to help us spread the word about this BS crap that the Shrade was doing, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and actually share this out to get the word out so we can spread this to more people. So more of... The fans of the Jess X can be aware of this and stay away until Shrade fixes that design and unscrews up that product or just drops the line completely because this is that's not a this is not a blade in the hollow grind configuration that I could recommend and I know it's not Chris Tanner's fault. However, that does about it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day and a happy 4th of July weekend. I'm out.